Variety level 13. Rescue Meryl, the return of Ginola. Actually, there is something I have been meaning to tell you, but I just couldn't. I think you should know, though. On Saturday morning last week, I saw a guy leaving Rosemary's room. How should I put it? It was like they were... intimate. I'm sorry. Sorry to bring this up during the mission, but... Jack, it's me. Hi, Rose. Jack, I owe you an apology. If it's about that conversation just now, I'm the one who's sorry. No, it's something else. What is it? That day at Federal Hall two years ago, it wasn't a coincidence. I was ordered to keep an eye on you. Keep an eye on me? Yes, by the Patriots. You're a spy? I suppose, yes. It's an ugly word. <sighs> Are you still there? Was sleeping with me a part of the job? I fell in love with you. How could anyone? I can't excuse what I did. I've reported every detail of your personal life to them these two years. What you did, said, everything. Must have been fun. But some things I didn't tell anyone. Oh. Like what I felt for you. So that's why you were involved in this mission. I should have known. Why else would they toss an analyst into the mix at the last minute? I'm sorry. I know what I did was wrong. No matter where I go, I get used. I reinvented myself to suit your tastes. Hairstyle, clothes, the way I moved, things I talked about. You say you love the color of my hair, my eyes. They're not even real. You must have gone over my psych profile with a fine tooth comb. It was my job. Great performance. Had me completely fooled. What I really wanted was for you to see the real me. It hurt to play out this this artificial romance. It was worse to lie to myself than to you. The more love you gave me, the more it hurt. Because I knew the person you loved was just a character. So it was artificial on my end too. It was just a game, not the real thing. Oh, Jack. I feel better knowing that. What? I was in love, or thought I was, with someone who didn't exist. I was trying to be someone I wasn't by loving what wasn't real. I don't know who you really are. The person I knew isn't real. She's not the woman I'm talking to right now. In a sense, the deception was my own, not theirs. Jack, I thought I was acting because that was my job. But I did fall in love with you. That wasn't an act. You expect me to believe that? <sighs> it's okay. You had your reasons, right? Hey. I understand, but I have nothing left to- Jack! What? I'm... I'm carrying... I'm pregnant, Jack. Rose! What's going on? Amazing how you walk around like that. Snake! Been waiting long? Where's my gear? Right over there. That's more like it. Everything you had when you were captured is still there. Sorry about earlier. I had to use you as bait to gain access to Arsenal. It worked. Why didn't you tell me about Olga? You never asked. Oh. Not happy about that? Get over it. Any effects of the virus yet? Still waiting on that. So, it was rigged by the Patriots? Looks like it. From what I can tell, Arsenal is headed for Manhattan. 
I don't know what Solidus is planning, but we'll have to deal with it one way or another. There's also a troop of production model rays ahead. How many units? Twenty-five, according to Olga. Twenty-five? Yeah. Can't say I've faced that many Metal Gears before, but I think we can deal. No way we can. We can, because we have no other choice. How? I've stocked up on Stinger missiles. Oh yeah, Olga left this for you. Why? Olga asked me to give it to you. Besides, I'm not a big fan of blades. Move the right stick up and down to make a vertical slice, and left and right to slice parallel to the ground. Move the stick in a circle to do a rotating cut. Push it forward to lunge and strike. You can guard with your blade if you have the L1 button pressed down. You should be able to deflect a bullet or two. Come on, time to go. If you run out of ammo, you can have mine. You got enough? Absolutely. Infinite ammo. Wait up, Snake! What? Snake, have you ever enjoyed killing someone? What are you talking about? I'm not sure. Sometimes it's hard to tell the difference between reality and a game. Diminished sense of reality, huh? VR training will do that. No. It was field training when I was a kid. I lied, Snake. I have more field experience than I can remember. It's not VR that's doing this to me. Raiden, we don't carry guns to take people down. We're not here to help some politician either. You can say that because you're a legend. A hero. I'm Jack the Ripper. A dirty reminder of a terrible mistake. Legends don't mean a whole lot. I was just a name to exploit. Just like you. People will remember only the good part. The right part of what you did. There's no right part in murder. Not ever. And we're not in this to make a name for ourselves. Then what are you and Otacon fighting for? A future? You can stop being part of a mistake. Starting now. What am I? What am I supposed to do? Find something to believe in, and find it for yourself. And when you do, pass it on to the future. Believe in what? That's your problem. Come on. Snake, Raiden. Otacon, you all right? Yeah, so are all the hostages. That's good news. How's everything on your end? All right for now, but there is something. What? The Colonel's last transmission was strange. Strange? How? Just strange. No idea. Interference? I don't know. Where is this Colonel? 
I don't know. I've never met the man, actually. I'll dig around. Thanks. I owe you one. If there's anything else, call me on the codec. I might be able to help. The frequency is 141.12. Raiden, about this colonel of yours. I found out where he is. Where? Inside Arsenal. What? I've checked out all the possibilities, but I keep coming back to Arsenal. It isn't a relay point, it's the origin of the signal. Hmm. And the encryption protocol it uses is exactly the same as that of Arsenal's AI, the so-called GW. What the hell does this mean? I think it means you've been talking to an AI. That's impossible. The Colonel probably isn't GW per se. GW was most likely stimulating cortical activity in the dormant part of your brain through signal manipulation of your own nanomachines. The Colonel is, in part, your own creation, cobbled together from expectations and experience. That's crazy! But it's probably the truth. The virus may be starting to affect GW, which would explain the Colonel's behavior. It was all an illusion? Everything I've done so far? Raiden. Snake, what's happening around here? I don't know. What I do know is that you're standing right here in front of me. Not an illusion. Flesh and blood. Huh? It's your call. You can drop this if you want. No, I can't do that. Let's go. Raiden. They've got Rose. What? Rose is being held in the holds. It's a trap. Help! Rose! Raiden, get a grip. But Snake... It's a trap. Since the Colonel doesn't exist, there's no way he can take Rose hostage. Yeah, you're right. I am right. Okay. Uh, does Rose exist? Don't be weird. She's your... What if I've never really met her? What? If the Colonel is something that I partly dreamt up, then... Everything I remember about her could be... Don't jump to conclusions. You and Otacon are the ones that say the Colonel never existed. Raiden! Is this what Olga was talking about?
fortune. It's been a long wait, Solid Snake. The root of all my sorrows. What? Two years ago, you killed my father. That was the beginning of hell for us. Everyone I love has been taken from me one by one. And no matter how hard I try, I can't follow them. An endless nightmare. The only thing we live for is to see it end. Our wait is almost over. You can't be serious about firing the nuke. Since no one can kill me, I may as well kill everyone I can. Starting you, Damn! Looks like I'm today's pick. You go on ahead. You want eternal rest? I've got it right here. What are you gonna do? Bullets can't get near her. I'll think of something. There's no such thing as a witch. You think you can kill me? I don't know what your group's been through, but let's get one thing clear. I didn't kill your father. Do you think anyone believes your lies? Raiden, get out of here! Jack, I've been watching how you fight. It looks like you've remembered the way you used to kill in the old days. Or is it one of the S3 plan's proud achievements? What are you talking about? It came as a complete surprise when Ocelot discovered the S3 data from GW. Not a bad idea, though. Using fire to fight fire, creating the perfect assassin to retire Solid Snake's brother. S3 stands for Solid Snake Simulation. It's a development program to artificially reproduce Solid Snake, the perfect warrior. The result is a Foxhound Commando. When Foxhound no longer exists, a simulated Solid Snake shaped by VR Regiment Sound like someone you know, Jack? I'm sorry to see you reduced to one of the Patriot's puppets. But I've made use of you. And their plan, too. Solid Snake's sudden appearance, your arrival. It was obvious the Patriots were among my ranks. I had to smoke out the agent before the mission entered the final phase. You came in handy, as bait. Jack, those days during the Civil War were as real as they come. Every day was absolute, split between life and death. You ran from it, and now you've been led back to war by something less than real. No more games, Jack. At least you know. There's no reason to keep you alive now. I've given you a worthy opponent, at least. But now, you should die as the little Jackie boy I once knew. <laughs>
Iris, they'll know! I'll hold them off, give you time to get away. What about you? <laughs> this is suicide! Your nanomachines, they're transmitting your vital signs to the Patriots. If you die, my child dies. Do you understand? The child? I see. So that's why you sold your troops out to me. So many dead, and they all died trusting you! Ugh. Weren't they your comrades? No, not just comrades. Family! <laughs> I know I'm going to help, but at least my child... I applaud your attitude. If you have a death wish, I'll be happy to accommodate you. See you in hell! <laughs>